Well, hello everyone. I'm Yanni from BU for You Gaming, and today we are back in East Shade. So let's see. Do you have anything oh, new? Well, I'm happy to hear there's something of interest in those ruins. Well, I guess Vadim won't want to buy my inn anymore, but maybe I'll get more interest now anyway. Who knows? I just might convert one of these rooms into a ruins museum. <laughs> that might be something to do. Okay, well, I wonder if anyone else has any anything to say about what we found out last time. Well, I thought Helena was acting strange. Guess you can always count on me, detective. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they will find some cures in the ruins. That would really be something. <laughs> that would be something indeed. Okay, we kind of talked to you. Did I talk to I you? I didn't expect things to happen so quickly. I guess the ruins aren't ours anymore. I'm glad the university will be studying them. I've always wondered about everything I saw in there. Poor Auntie H. I wish she could see inside. She must have been really desperate to end up taking that book. Uh -huh. Did you guys leave? Or are you in here? Uh, well. Finally! We can leave! Maybe we'll get to play in Narva after all. Hmm, that would be cool. Ooh, have we actually seen one of these? Or some of these, I don't know. Um, I don't know if we've seen any of this where they would actually be playing in Narva because so far I haven't been able to... Yeah, that's the one bug that I'm still struggling with that uh, I haven't been able to watch those different shows yet. But, yeah, hopefully it will get fixed at some point. Um, I do know that they, uh, Danny is very, very busy fixing and optimizing things. And there's a big uh, optimization update in beta at the moment, uh, which is hopefully going to help with a lot of stuff. And hopefully there will also be some bug fixes included once that goes live, of course. Uh, so, anyway, let's see. I can't say I'm pleased the case was cracked. I was quite enjoying the excitement. Huh? <laughs> Back to dreary days in bed, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, you really enjoyed this. <laughs> well, that's also easy if you're not involved, right? Okay, is there anyone up here we want to talk to? You? It's too bad the ruins are going to be swept up by the university. Wasted opportunity. The entire island would have profited from the tourism. All in the name of science, I suppose. <laughs> mm. There's probably no one in here because Helena was downstairs. Uh, what do we have here? That's the damn... Oh, uh, historian. Uh, he might still be outside. Okay. Well, let's just see if we can... Have a little chat with him before we leave. Just to kind of follow up on everything. Ooh, look at this. The storm is over. It's a bright and sunny and beautiful day. Ooh, yes. So, let's see what you have to say. Well, after we recover the translation book from Helena, maybe I can get my position at the university back as well. The ruins have always been important to her. I only hope I can preserve them for future generations. And imagine what we can learn about the past. Eventually, I hope it will be better this way. If we uncover even one artifact, the ruins will be protected forever. No tourists, no names carved in the walls by hooligans, no trash tossed around. Just a bastion of history. On an unrelated note, I saw the... Shall we call it the watercraft you arrived here in? <laughs> I've drawn up some instructions for you oh, on how to build a reed boat. Look at that, guys. That used around here. No need for whatever that thing is. <laughs> you also find reed boats quite capable of coastal travel. I can't imagine your contraption there is. You'll need heavy reeds. They're wider and flatter than the usual sort. Best wishes and... Um, sorry for accusing you of taking my translation book. I'm sure you understand. Well, I'm sorry for accusing you for having misplaced it somewhere. Good luck with everything. <laughs> oh, but that's cool. I guess it's one of these that we're going to get. 
Okay, let's just first of all check out our... Um, nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to go in here. And okay, so we're going to need... 10 heavy reeds, we do have those. One stick and four twine. One, two, three, four. Nice, now we can craft it. Uh, but we are gonna head over to the water because now we can probably go and uh, get to that guy who was in that little cove or that little, you know, area or over by the Tiffany Bluff. So we're gonna head over there and try and set this boat in the water, guys. Ooh, and of course, I almost forgot, we do have a ring we have to hand in, right? So I thought we might as well just use our little raft here and uh, make it over here. Haha, -ha. so we can get that sorted out. She's probably going to be happy about that, but I don't know if she's going to be happy about us letting old pups slip away again. Oh, wow, look at this, guys. Ah, it's just so beautiful. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, let's see. You found me, my ring traveler. But you didn't bring the old fish. <laughs> I uh, didn't realize you needed him. I don't need him, per se. I'm so glad just to be reunited with my wedding ring. Thank you for bringing it back. Here, have a few glowstones. Oh, thank you. And thank the great shade you survived. <laughs> uh, you thought old pups would kill me? Well, it's hard to be sure. What a mean-spirited old fish. You ever hear the tale of how old pups came to be so grumpy? No? Oh, you're in for a treat. Well, you see, there was one day old pups swallowed a bitter frog. So he swallowed this frog, and the taste was so awful, Old Pop started thrashing round something terrible. There was a boat nearby, and when Old Pop leapt out of the water, he hit it hard. That boat was knocked over, and the captain was real upset. He was yelling and ended up harpooning the giant fish right in the side. Didn't you notice the lard gash on Old Pops? So anyhow, Old Pops has been bitter ever since. Can't believe you survived fetching my ring from him. That Old Pops, he's got it out for us all! <laughs> okay. Oh, I spotted something. Let's see if she actually has anything else to say. You ever wonder what it's like to be so different from all those other fish out there? What it's like to be so big you accidentally throw a bunch of people overboard? <laughs> mm. Mm, it's not really what I usually think about, but guess old pups don't doesn't have it easy. <laughs> oh, okay, and we can actually cook here. Hmm, should we give this another go? Um, we did find out about the mountain ward, but that was just three different ones. What if we, what if we, what if we just put three of these in here and try? That's a mystery blend. White bloom sacks. Ooh, bloom sack tea. Nice. Well, that would kind of make sense. I forgot we had heard about one like this. What else have we heard about? I don't know. Let's just try down here too. Oh, scrap weed tea. Have we heard about that one? I don't recall having heard about that one. No. Uh, probably not gonna be... Yeah, that's just a mystery. And... Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. Well, that made a couple of teas. Let's check this out. So, um, what was it? Well, we have the mountain board. Um... Ah, I think we're gonna try this one actually because I haven't we haven't tried this one yet. I don't think. What else? And then we have the mystery blends, a uh, raft root. Oh, scragweed. It tastes sweet with notes of spice. Oh, did we try one of these? Maybe we did try one of these at some point. Oh boy. <laughs> but I'm not sure what it does actually. 
some of these teas are a little confusing uh, let's just drink this and then we had what was the other one oh um bloom sack but i think yeah we already tried this once okay but that made a couple of teas so we have made what three teas four teas i think four teas four teas it's supposed to be eight teas in the game actually that you can um that you can you can you can make let's see so we have mountain water tea lindovian brew earth root tea bloom sack tea and scrag grid tea that makes five aha so we are missing three there's an achievement for this actually um but haha that's something to think about okay well uh oh right i wanted to try i wanted to try this mountain water tea because I think you can fast travel with it or something. Let's try. Yes, we can. Aha. Uh -huh. So. Uh, Tiffmore Ruins. No, I actually want to get over here. Yeah. Now, there's a little cove. But to actually sail there, it doesn't really help to go up here because that's high up. But if we go to the, t the West Tower, then we could sail over there, right? So let's try that. Drink a mountain water tea to walk to this location. Okay. Aha! That was nice and easy. Of course, I could have done that much more, but I don't really mind in this game wandering around because it's so pretty and I love the music and I love the ambient sounds, like all these... Um, these... Um, bird sounds and stuff. Um, and the wind in the trees and all that stuff. So I really like the traveling around actually. It is kind of a little late in the game though that you get access to this. Of course, except if you just go straight to Nava and, you know, hurry up and get the 500 glowstones or something. Um, and just kind of pick up uh, the sealant so you can actually get over here. Otherwise, it it's that it is kind of a little late that you get access to it. Anyway. Let's see, can I actually place this down here or do I have to be, maybe it should be better to go into shore so we can easily access it. I think we're gonna do that. Yeah, because the raft can be a little tricky sometimes, as I said. Uh, I think last time I mentioned that, that it can be if it kind of floats away from you. So let's try here. And say, oh, crafting, crafting, that's what we want. And a reed boat. Ooh, look at this, guys. Okay, let's put you there and mount. <gasps> look at this. Oh, we are sailing. Oh, this is cool. I love it. Oh, no, don't go backwards. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool, guys. Man. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh, I love it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, can I check my map while I'm here? Yes, I can. Okay, so we are out here. Uh, I kind of would like to try and sail out here a little bit at some point, too. And there's the ocean's last breath. And I think we're going to have to sail up here. Because we did have this. The university would like to request an artist visualization of the ice cave currently being excavated in the area known as Ocean's Last Breath. We would like an idea of what this cave may look like before official reports arrived. So, uh, it didn't seem like there was any way to kind of get down there. Well, we can get to Blackpool Beach, so we could always kind of fast travel over there and then just sail into this area. But there might also be something else. Because I still have, I think, four locations to discover in the game. That is another achievement, guys. But it kind of gives you an idea of if you have missed something. And so far, I only know of two. Because I haven't been... Well, I don't know if this is a location. But we haven't been down here where this guy is. Um, and let's just assume it's the father of the two kids we found. That would kind of make sense, right? And then there's the ocean's last breath. And then there's the ice cave. I don't know if that's a, a kind of a location in its own. Right? Maybe? I don't know. Was it in here? Or do we have to go over further? Uh, okay, we have to go a bit further. 
So, this is cool, guys. Did I go too far? Uh, no, it is in here. Right? Uh. <laughs> okay, let's just try and sail through here just because it is so cool. Okay. I think I went too far. He's on this side, right? How did I miss that? Well, let's try and sail through here. <gasps> oh, there is actually an entrance point here. That uh, That's what I was talking about if we wanted to get into this area. Oh. Ooh, look at this. Ah, uh, yeah, I think he's out there, but... Wow, look at this, guys. This is cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's just try and get out of this and see. And hopefully my reef boat is going to stay. There we go and not float away. Otherwise, I think we have the resources so we can build another one, maybe. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's ooh, anything else here. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Yep. Let's try and continue. Ooh, making me dizzy. There's a box there, though. Hmm. There we go. And let's make sure to pack it up. There we go. So it doesn't load off from me. And we found it. Nice. Yep, yep, yep. Hidden Cove. Ooh. Okay. Let's just pick up a few things around here. Not that I think we're going to need that much of it anymore. Ooh. And we can brew some tea up here if we need to. Hello, mister. Hello. Excuse me. I desperately need your help. Please don't leave. Well, I'm not going to after all that trouble to get down here. <laughs> What's wrong? I've been stranded in this cove for two days. Oh, if the old fisherman's ramp was still standing, I could have just walked out, but as it is, I'm stuck. I've been stranded in this cove for two days. If the old fisherman's ramp was still standing, I could have just walked out, but as it is, I'm stuck. Oh, didn't he just repeat that? That was a little funny. How did you get here? My children and I were visiting Eastshade, and we went out on the ocean for some fishing when a terrible squall capsized us and sunk our boat. I've been stuck here, worried to death about them. I think I've met your children. Oh, thank the moon and stars. Are they safe? Where are they? They're being cared for. Oh, this is the best news. Thank you. I just need to get out of here and find them. I have a plan, but I can't do it alone. Hmm, how can I help? Hmm. There's no way the two of us are going to fit in that kayak of yours. But that access ramp. If you could craft a rope out of twine, I think you could hang it from the end of the ramp. I can do that for you. Oh, thank you! Oh, I'm so lucky you found me. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, yep, yep, yep. So... Rope. Okay, we need four twine. One, two, three, four. You know, I'm happy I haven't sold all of this. There we go. Awesome. It's good to see you again. I don't like being stuck in this cove. How are you going with making the rope? I have a rope. Oh, that's great. See if you can find a way up to that broken access ramp and hang the rope from one of its wooden beams. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have to sail back and make it up there, I guess. Whoops. Uh, okay, well, can we... Can we should be able to get out here, shouldn't we? Okay, so... What, are, what do I want to do? A reed boat. Reed. Reed. No. Oh, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. Um... Uh, oops. Oh no. Come on. <laughs> Good thing we could walk out this far because I couldn't do that with the... Uh, <laughs> I couldn't do that with the um, 
with the raft in the river that just kept saying it was too deep. Yep, so I had to follow it to catch it. But uh, yeah, in this case, that was not a problem. And I was just thinking, no, now we probably can't make a new one. And then how are we going to get away from here? Well, of course, we can fast travel. Because we do have one more mountain ward T. And we do have some more mountain ward so we can make more. Ah, so that might not be... So we might not be so struck here as I was thinking there for a split second. But let's just make our way back up again. And then we're gonna hang that rope. Ooh, yes. Oh, come on. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Um, that's a good thing it, it survived that because that could have destroyed our little boat. Okay, so pack you up and... Let's see, we have to make it up on the cliffs. What time is it? Oh, it's 4.53. Not too bad. New, no, new, no, new. No. We are getting there, guys. We are getting there. And we are gonna reunite these people. Yes, we are. We are. The poor children. They're gonna be so happy when they get that father home. So... Hmm... How did we get up there? Oh, right. I think we did it from over here. Or maybe I had to stay at the level we are at. Or we're at, we'll see. Well, I think I made it down this way last time, so I'll be able to do it. Mm -hmm. Go. Nice. No, but I'm definitely gonna be playing through this game again. Well, I know that I want, well, after looking at the achievements, I'm pretty sure there's at least one of these achievements that uh, I have failed almost from the get-go. Um, so I would have to do a second playthrough, but I still want to do a second playthrough anyway, because I want to, well, just for myself, uh, I wasn't planning on recording that, um, to kind of try the alternate dis um, decisions you make. Like, for instance, we could have given the antidote to the roots instead of pouring it over the vines. And we could have, you know, kind of left the father alone and way in the beginning instead of, you know, getting him so annoyed with us that he knocked us out and things like that. So I kind of want to see the other side of those decisions. Oh, and there's Roshanara, of course. Uh, you could choose not to give her any um, any thistles, for instance, and uh, yeah, things like that. So there's a lot of there's a, a good chance to um, feel like replaying this, even if it wasn't to get the last few achievements. What am I looking for? I'm looking for rope. <laughs> yep. Okay. Can I just click this? Yes, I can. Nice. Oh, you've rescued me. I'm eternally grateful. If there's one more thing I could ask you for. Go on. I have to find my children. Do you know where they are? They are with Toma. This is a miracle! Thank you! I don't know what I would do without you. I'm going to go and look for them right away. No time to waste. Aww. Nice. And we got an achievement. Family reunited. And Thomas apples completed. Oh, but I kind of wanted to go back to Thomas' place just to see if they have anything to say. Because so far we only have this. And then, of course, we have to make it out to the um, ocean's last breath. But I think we're going to do this next time. That's going to be our objective for next time. And for right now, uh, this Thomas' farm. Let's just try and... You just want to go there, just to see if they have anything to say about this. There we go. See who is here. If anyone is home. Uh, someone is sleeping. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing the kids or anything here, so maybe you can't actually follow up on it but let's just try and sleep I just want to see if you can um, get any more like reactions here so let's just pop you down there and then we are gonna 
take ourselves a little nap. Aha! Okay, well, she is back. But... Oh, there's Toma. But I don't think the kids are here anymore. Kind of makes sense, but I was thinking maybe they would have been here so you could kind of see the them being reunited. Good news. Father of those kids survived and made it back here. What a sight to see them all together again. Lucky thing you That's found That's what them. I wanted to see. <laughs> Never had something like that happen before. And couldn't have asked for a better outcome. That's true. Now, back to Bloom Sacks. <laughs> see you. What sweet children they are. And finally safely reunited with their father. I just knew it would be a happy ending. Aww. Indeed. Okay, well, maybe we will spot them somewhere. Maybe you can spot them if you go back to Nava or something. You might run into them somewhere there or spot them there. I don't know. But that will have to be it for this time, guys. Next time we are gonna head over to Ocean's Last Breath and see if we can find this ice cave that we need to do a commission for. So, thank you for watching. And as always, do take care and happy gaming.